Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and we have some new leaks dropped by El Chico Evia. I don't know if I would consider them leaks, or if they're just things that are in the Chinese beta that should be live or going live right now. Some of this is pretty wild, and some of it are things I guess we could kind of expect, right? So first, I saw that they talked about like the new Holloware that's coming to the game. So this is a piece of not Holloware, but trainer outfit. That's actually not in our game yet. This has not only like uh, different accessories on it, but also an eye color attached to it. You can see the male and female versions of it right there for your avatar. And there's actually art for it in game, which is pretty cool. This feels very, I've been playing like a little Honor of Kings. This does actually feel very Honor of Kings, I would say. Like kind of the, not only just like, kind of the art of it, but the vibe of it entirely does feel like we're going very honor of Kings with it. And there's a lot more that actually Evie has talked about that's more interesting than just like some artwork, right? So these are player icons that it looks like you can have in the game. This is very common on tons of mobile games. You'll have like a little icon for your player. In Pokemon Unite right now, we do have something like this, but it's just super basic. So we don't have like more customization with this. We literally, here, let me pull up my game. We literally have like our player icon, which you see them over on the side here. They're just kind of our faces inside, <laughs> inside these little like circles that you get for getting a premium piece of Holloware, right? So what we're seeing here is like more customization options as far as that is concerned. So it's like, you can be a little Eevee or you can have this. Like, I assume this would mean you made it to some special rank or something in the game, perhaps master rank. These are frames for nicknames that you could have in the game. A lot of mobile games or something will have this, like you get a ton of assists and you'll have like a nickname that'll pop up near you, you know, that you can like customize. I feel like Overwatch has something like that. Someone in the chat could correct me if I'm wrong there, but that feels like kind of like an Overwatch thing. Um, here are decorations for assassin titles, it says. Uh, so you can see like little decorations that come up as you are like making like a, a KO or something in a match in a special way. He pulls up Honor of Kings because a lot of this is going to be what you would see in Honor of Kings, right? So, uh, which is another game from this company. You can see like the different, like for Pentas, the different things like that. You can see like different things in your games. So I'm guessing that Unite is gonna have different versions of that where you're gonna be able to like put your Penta behind like a little beachy vibe or something like that. Uh, and then moving up, this is like a new map, it looks like. Uh, this is like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. He's got a bunch of things here like flame wheel and like a flame wheel map and all this. Now the interesting thing is coming up right now. First off, we have some art for what looks like ways to get gifts in the game. Like this is a Pelipper bringing you a gift. This is a Delibird bringing you a gift. This is Miltank just like straight up vibing, I guess. And uh, this is Snorlax chasing some bees. These could all be like stand-ins for modes as well. We're not actually sure what that's gonna look like. But now, here's a really interesting thing. So this is where we could be having a new character. We don't know, but I think it's very possible we could be seeing a new character in the Chinese version that is not yet in our version. So he's got a uh, stuffle here as like this little circle. And he mentions that you don't, like right here, uh, this maybe means nothing, but the circles added next to the playable ones are maybe it's just a game mode exclusive or potential new characters for the future. The T circle is only normally used for playables. So it's possible that these are for characters. It's also possible these are just for a mode and that's how they classify it, right? Because this would be like Lorantis, Mil Miltank, Stuffle, Beware, all of them coming to the game. This also could just be something that happens in a particular mode where these Pokemon are unlocked. So let's take a look at some of the modes that he's kind of shown off here. Let me make sure it's like, yeah, set up well. So this is that like, does, like tumbleweed that we see like Pikachu turns into it and then he picks up eggs in this mode and it's like the eggs are spawning in a crazy way and you're grabbing them. This kind of looks like a gem grab mode from Brawl Stars or something like that, right? And it looks like we have a version of that possibly 
in the Chinese version. We've seen like a few kind of Brawl Stars-esque versions from the Chinese version, uh, Brawl Stars-esque modes, I should say, from the Chinese version as we've kind of like seen parts of it leak. There was like a mode that's like kind of the mode where you're like bouncing like a ball between each other, almost like a, you know, like a beach ball that you don't want to drop. Here we can see this again. You pick up a KO, you drop a bunch of eggs, you like move to a goal zone to score with those eggs. So like you can see this mode very different from what we have now and a map that's kind of completely different, right? It has elements of maps that we have before, but it doesn't have like anything specific on it that we have in any of our maps. Right here, we can see this Snorlax mode, which is just kind of bananas. I kind of would love to play it. Like the quick modes, I feel like in our game have gotten pretty uninspired. And these seem like wild and possibly actually like moving in the direction of having a mode you really want to hop into because it's very specific and competitive in that specific mode rather than it's just here are a bunch of dragons and the dragons are attacking each other this feels like you've got more going on uh like rockets you up with these bubbles you grab more of this this mode right here this is like probably the snorlax with all the bees that we were looking at earlier and he's jumping around. It's like this kind of looks like herding the combi into like almost a hungry, hungry hippos situation in this like uh, quick match mode that we see right here. And you can see things are a little different there. Like every character, you'll even see this in the main mode, like their battle item is different uh, in the Chinese version. They also have like their main game mode is different. They have a lot of things that are different in the Chinese version. It's gonna be really interesting to see what makes its way here. Here's like a gimme ghoul mode. So the gimme ghoul is just dropping little coins and you're running to pick them up. You KO enemy Pokemon and you get coins. And then whoever has the most coins at the end. So this one feels very, again, I, I don't know if there, are, I'm sure there are other games like this. So. Forgive me for only mentioning Brawl Stars, but it just feels like a lot of these modes are straight up, I see something like this in Brawl Stars, right? I don't know if that feels like the same way for you guys, but I feel like so many of these modes just feel like this is a mode I've seen in Brawl Stars and I will see it again. Uh, what do we got here? This is a mode, you've got a magnet. It pointed to something, I don't know what it pointed to. This has like a bit of Thea Sky Ruins here this air like launching you over. There are just so many, well, wow, a sandstorm. There are just so many different things in this. I swear every time I see the Chinese version, I just really feel like this is essentially Pokemon Unite 2, you know? It's like, this is like the, I remember when the beta was released and then the full global version was released and it felt like, oh, the Switch version, the early version of that was the beta. And then kind of Thea Sky Ruins and the like full release was like the release of Unite. This feels like Pokemon Unite 2. It's exactly what this feels like. And with the game's success, especially in Japan, the game being so successful, I would be so shocked if we don't get a massive amount of this content in our global version. It's just, if our, if our, if the game was doing like really poorly and no one was playing it, and they were just like, all right, focus China and be done, that would make sense. But given that like Japan's numbers specifically, like Japan is crushing it in Unite. This map looks very cool, by the way. Japan is crushing it in Unite right now. So I would be shocked if we don't get this as like a large update. Uh, would Unite 2 run on the Switch? Look, Unite 1 doesn't run on the Switch. So I don't know what to tell you as far as that's concerned. Uh, this is like, uh, this map has very like cherry blossom vibes, although I'm not seeing that specific thing. And it looks like they're fighting over these Pokemon. Oh, this is like, this looks very Battle Royale. I didn't even realize the Sandstorm is moving in like a la Battle Royale. This is Brawl Stars, by the way. I hope you guys like Brawl Stars because uh, Pokemon Unite's about to become Brawl Stars. That's what I would guess from seeing all of this. It's like so, so Brawl Stars for me throughout all of this. So those, those are a lot of the new modes. I don't think Eevee posted anything else. If he does and anything's very cool that we see from the beta, I'll make sure that we check it out here on the channel. But there you go, everybody. The new Chinese leaks. I know everyone in the chat was talking about it, so I figured it'd be a good time to uh, kind of go through them all together. I'm sure we'll have more coming very soon. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you. I'll see you all next time. And thank you, chat. Mm -hmm. We did it. We talked about leaks.